Angaba gendo kuandi kaba ntu abadja Okuba ingiza mchumi na cha national unity platform Nukula matujao na cha maida yu chuseli tu haburwa Awa pawa Amma, yo yo, amma, 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 yo yo, amma, 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 yo yo, amma, 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 yo yo, amma. Amba, 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 yo yo, Amba, 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 yo yo, Amba, 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 Amba. Hamba yo yo hamba Power power People power Everywhere Any pee Arduino sko we we Arduino ni Bosco mwenye we Adui Bosco mwenye we Adui Bosco mwenye we Tusonge mbele na bidi Tusonge mbele wa dudi Tusonge mbele na bidi Tusonge mbele na bidi Awa pawa People power everywhere. Any of Ladies and gentlemen, while you're still standing, I want us to once again give respect and pay tribute to our brother Machete, who just Mama. passed away a while ago, who was murdered in freezing blood, not cold blood, but freezing blood. I want us to give him a huge round of applause because even in heaven where he is, I know that he will be listening to us. So give him a big round of applause. Don't stop. This is for you, Comrade Lachoko, for you, Machete, and all the comrades in Naramoja, in Northern Uganda, all over the country. We appreciate you, we wish you, we remember you, and we will never forget you. May your soul rest in time of peace. Thank you very much, and please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. I was preempted by the brother, and I'm glad that he said it again, but it was my intention to mention it today, that we intend to pay full, well-deserved respect to our brother by also painting his noble picture on our wall of matters because it is that Madam Deputy President, our Secretary General, our spokesperson and leader of our parliamentary team, our mobilization secretary, Madam Deputy SG, members of parliament, members of NEC, fellow leaders in all capacities, I salute you. Allow me also to thank our very good friends, the Friedrich Human Foundation for Freedom in Africa, for making this engagement possible and helping us launch this drive. I want in a very, very special way to thank all of you, but most importantly, you, the coordinators. My thanks should come from the lowest leader coming up. Thank you very much for the commitment. Thank you very much for the volunteering. But above all, thank you very much for risking. It's a very big risk 
for you to stand on the right side of history in this time and era. It is more of a death wish for you to stand against General Seven, who executes people in cold blood and appoints no and, and accounts to no one, but to see that you comrades put faith over fear, to see that you still envision a new Uganda, even where it is challenging, even where our odds seem insurmountable. I salute you very, very much. Thank you very much for standing for this call. Now while we are here, friends, we are a representation of very many people. I'm sure each one of you, every time you move in your constituencies, in your different regions, you find people that are so sold into this cause. This cause we did not start it, ladies and gentlemen. No. It was started by our forefathers. Some people actually doubted Genome 7 as early as 1986. Now they are proving themselves right. We were convinced by the lies of Genome 7. Our parents were. Some of us held him in very high regard. I mean, we have comrades among the staff who were named after Museveni. I always tell my friends I was named after Robert Mugabe because he was a prized revolutionary back then. When I was born, my parents thought that the person to name their child after was Robert Mugabe. See where he ended up. Our leader of opposition was named after Yoi Museveni. But see what Museveni turned into. So, this we did not start it, ladies and gentlemen. We are inheriting a struggle. We give credit to the great freedom fighters like Paul Kawanga, Semogeli, like Dr. Kiza Besige. They started it. Our duty is to end it. Our duty is to finish it. That is what we must promise ourselves. Freedom in our lifetime. Democracy in our lifetime, the rule of law in our lifetime, and we must achieve that by the grace of God. But even if we say by the grace of God, we must know in the Baganda culture they say Katonda Ayamba Yeyambe, God only helps those who help themselves. My mother used to teach me that God can only do for you what He can do through you. What God cannot do through you. He will not do for you. So it is your duty to let God help you using you. I'm very glad we are here and we all seem to understand that. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to drive the point that we, much as we are here, much as we are the national unity platform, we are actually not a political party. I know that sounds convincing, but I'm very serious. We are not a political party. We just have a political party. We are people of power. We are the representation of those masses yearning for change. We have a team of people, the men, the women, the young, the old, the educated, the uneducated, the city dwellers and the rural dwellers, all Ugandans from all walks of life coming together with a vision of creating a nation, the same vision that was present at independence, the vision of our forefathers, creating a nation that would make life better and admirable for the next generation. We are that generation that was supposed to realize it. We have not yet realized it. That's why we are not giving up. So, we are not as small as the political party. We are a representation of a cause. We are people power. We introduced the National Unity Platform as our political wing. And for us, the National Unity Platform is the organized wing of people power. The thoughtful wing of people power. The leading wing, the guiding wing of people power. Everybody out there is people power. We must never lose that. 
There has been so many political parties that have come up. There was the Democratic Party. It was a representation of democracy, the representation of the ideals of the people. You know how it ended up. There was the UPC, there was the FDC. You know how it all ended up. So we must not be another opposition political party. No, we are a cause. We have an agenda. We have a desire. We have a dream. Which dream is not only but a dream of the people of Uganda, the young and the old. So they are looking at us with a lot of hope, which hope we must never disappoint, ladies and gentlemen. So knowing that we are not just a political party, it should also inform us that this is actually not politics as usual. This is a revolution. It's not politics as usual. Because if it was politics as usual, we would be free people, freely doing what we are entitled to do under the law. But we cannot achieve that. So we must treat this as the real struggle that it is, as the revolution that it is. And we must not settle, especially with the leaders. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, a revolution or a struggle cannot succeed on only admiration alone, or only, on only the hope alone, or only the tiredness alone. Wherever you go, I was in Busoka yesterday, and you think the people of Busoka are the most tired, but go to Northern Uganda, go to Western Uganda, come to the Central, they are thinking the same. Everywhere we go, there are masses and masses of people. Something that has not happened in our generation. There's so much power out there. But like one advert told us, power is nothing without control. Power is nothing without guidance, without direction. The Pan-Africans keep teaching us that we should not agonize alone. We should organize. Because the future belongs to the organized. If we don't organize, we will continue moving in circles. So you here are the organizing wind. There's so much power out there. There's so much support out there. But how do we harness it? It is like the rain. This thing out here keeps flowing rainwater. But if you don't put yeah, if you don't put gutters, the water will fall everywhere. But if you put gutters, we shall be able to guide our to a tank or wherever we want that water. And ultimately, we shall harvest that water. The support that people have given us, that is their role. The chanting, the waving, the votes that they give us, and all the massive nationwide support, that is the wealth, that is the power that they give us. That is their role. What is our role? Is to bring it together, to harness it, to collect it, to make sure we bring it to a logical conclusion. What is that logical conclusion? Kicking out the dictator. But not only that, but building a new country, building a new leadership. Who are those leaders? You! Nobody else. This is by so we have a big duty to bring that resource together. That support together. That is our duty here. That is why we are organizing. Because you will go to Karamoja, you will go to Kuru, and you will find young men and women, even old ones, supporting us massively. But if we don't find a way of harnessing that support, it will pass like that. That is why we are here. And we are organizing not only for an election. Yes, we are a political party that organizes for elections, that organizes for democracy, if there's democracy. But even with the, this deceitful semblance of democracy, we can maximize it when we organize, because ultimately, even if Museveni dies tomorrow, ultimately, we shall go to the polls. Ultimately, there will be elections. Even if they do their group business of the son trying to overtake the father, we shall finally keep both of them away. 
or the whole family. But even when they tell us that there was divine intervention and the entire house burnt up, still we would have to go to elections. That is why I am calling for constant organizing so that when that time comes, whether it comes tomorrow or next week or next year, it finds us ready and organized. So you comrades are the organizing wing of us. Think as if if we don't reach what we want to reach tomorrow, we will die. But imagine that we are going to live forever because this party is going to live forever. It's going to live beyond me, beyond you. It is for our children, our children's children and the next generation of Ugandans. Especially if we start it on a moral ground. If it's worth following. And that is possible, comrades. So let us organize our people. Let us organize them for two things. A revolution and a revolution. What do I mean? A revolution even before elections. Because it's possible. But even when 2026 comes before Museveni is kicked out, let us be ready to take him to the polls. Let us be ready on our side to ensure that every T is crossed and every I is dotted. So let us organize, organize, organize. Ensure that in your region, in your constituency, in your area of jurisdiction, there is absolute organizedness. I must add that we might organize, we might build civil structures, which Museveni vulgarizes all the time, but if we are connected with our people, then we can outsmart them. Like we have done in the past, we can do it even smarter and better and get better results than we got last time. So comrades, let's put the idea of organizing in our mind. I've already told you, we have massive support, but you guys are the harvesters. Your duty is to harvest that support, because if we don't harvest it, then we are not doing a good service to our country. I want to call upon you leaders, especially you, the coordinators, the focal people, and the registrars, avoid inviting. The Secretary General mentioned it, and I have to emphasize it, that we have been plagued with infights, sometimes brought in by prospective candidates. Oh, I want to run in this area, so nobody else should be working with the registrar or the coordinator. You are working for the people of Uganda. You are working for the party. Not for an individual, not for a candidate. We have not selected candidates, and even when candidate selection comes, you know the process that we go through. So, if you, as a coordinator, who's supposed to be serving other people, you reduce you reduce yourself to serving one person, that is corruption, and you know exactly how we deal with corrupt people. Comrades, it is important for us to build and not destroy. Let us learn from our recent experiences in 2021. I was in Busoka yesterday, and as you all saw, massive, massive support. What is your credibility? And you know what happens to all those people that sell out. Because this is not Chakulani struggle. It is not a Rubongoya struggle. It is not a Senyanyi struggle. It is not a Kayama struggle. It is a struggle of the oppressed people of Uganda. And when they see you selling out, you can imagine what they feel. I've told you many times that even if it's me, who you think people love so much, 24 hours, and they will be looking at me like a foreign pondo. <laughs> So please be true to the pain of the people, to the trust of the people. Trust is the most important thing that you have as a leader. And hope is the most valuable thing that you can on behalf of your people. So imagine what people will think of you. So comrades, this 
I cannot overemphasize on that. But, I mean, you know that after they take your credibility, you won't have any difference from these, although rich, but people that have zero respect, the Mukulas of this world, the Nabajas of this world, the Balams of this world, etc, etc, etc. Comrades, I've talked about this, I've talked about that, I've reminded you of how we are the embodiment of the aspirations of the people of Uganda. And you out there who are charging you to go there and be the representation. You are NUP there. You are people power there. You are Chagulani there. You are all of us there. Go there with full confidence. Because we are standing with you. You are representing us. We look at you very proudly. Don't undermine yourself. Don't think of yourself as any less. If you doubt, see how the regime is going to be fearing you in your so-called smallness. You might think you're a small man or woman, but the way the regime is going to be looking at you, the way the regime is going to be fearing you, but most importantly, the way the regime is going to be trying to befriend you and compromise you, that should tell you of how important you are. It is at this juncture that I want to announce that we are soon going to be starting the phase two of our nationwide tour and we are coming to you. We are coming to you not technologically, physically. Those in Mbale, we are coming to eat Malewa. Those in Western Uganda were coming to eat Shabo. Those in Jinja were coming to eat Maido. Those in Central Uganda, we are coming to you everywhere. We are coming to you physically. So please go and set the ground. Go and make preparations. We are coming to turn that constituency upside down. We are coming. So with those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to invite the Secretary General and I want to say that I hereby launch the nationwide membership registration drive and let's get to work. Thank you very much. Uh, I was trying. I was trying to insist that the Secretary General just as me as the first person, but he and his friend have insisted that I take the honors, and I will oblige. Thank you very much. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. DJ, you pray for us, uh, our anthem, as we, as a president, gets to register in our card symbolically. But I also want to recognize the arrival of Honorable Mwanga Chikumbi, I see him there. And Mr. President, I want to appreciate two people in a special way. Our organizing secretary, Dr. Kanavi Moses, and uh, Madam Sarah, Comrade Sarah. Where is she? Sarah over there, who have been uh, making sure that everything goes very, very well. Honorable Banimwezo Suguga has just arrived also from Nakawa East Constituency. Thank you very much. DJ.
Caramba! DJ, DJ, DJ! soldiers to remove the dictator. For God, The president right now is dispatching off these materials which are going to be used to register members, which include membership cards uh, and other materials for people to be put in the register. We are going to count. We are going to count wait, 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 wait. as uh, wait, wait, wait. DJ, 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 get a mass of civil. From 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As media can see, these are going everywhere. Jacabela County, Usu County, uh, and the president will, will hand over a batch of, of, of cards. Uh, let me have someone from uh, Northern Uganda. Yes, Okot, Okot Samuel is here. What's somewhere? Eddie, Baba, Onzita. 
Hmm, uh, we gutio, mkolo we gutambu de, nevi gambo ya president, chagula nyi senta mu, uh, Robert Bobby Wine, mubi uli devulonji. Uh, Tongoza, kurumba, kuandika, uh, kuingiza, bawanguzi, baluanyi, mchibina cha National Unity Platform. Agwe mkoro, gumalidi zidolo wa alero. Ziba dena kubiri, ya wakule mbeze, abagendo kuingiza, abagendo National Unity Platform, nga baso mesewa, nga baso ma, nga bake nkurwa, ila, okulaba nga, Bacha jinga abantu, basa ankalanya abantu obongo, wabere abantu obongo wabujule mchimu kujako diktator na chie marira yoweli kaguta museven. Elanga uleru naku, luno, kule uh, dua, president chagulanyi center mu, Robert Bobwain, anga wayo, ibibigendo koze sewa mkuwandi kabantu abaluanyi. Haba gendo kujakona chema lila jeno yoweli kaguta museven kari. Tuyanza nyo tuyanze ege umuka makatonda batongele umukisa. Na wana haba genda ukutambula mbitundu. Haba gendo kutuka mbitundu vye guwange vye nja ulo nga haba wandika haba luanyi. Haba gendo kujakona chema lila jeno museven umuka mabatembe saburunji haba tambu saburunji batu keo ate umuli mba ukule burunji. Basolo kutusolo kula wange chibi na chafe nga guwanga lafe Difuno bukule mbeza uguwani de Hiranga tukubani na chema lila jeno Yoweli Kaguta um, Seven Monsi ya fe Atusubulo kwendiza Hobi inza buguanga ya fe Yugande tambulenge Kula ukulana Yugande tambulenge Gena maso Na fama Tue ya galile Ewa fe Mbagala nyo Mwena baliko Mwena baliko bako 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 Mwena ba